df dot tail shows the top five rows of the data. df dot tail df dot tail and if you do five, it shows the bottom five lines. Here you can see eleven, nine, one, three is the last number. It is of link then sedan. Okay, no problem. Now what we need to do? Checking the type of data. So df dot d types is to check the type of data. Now here you can see. Uh, I think it has given column wise. Yeah, column wise. Uh, make is object. Yeah, model is also object. Year is integer. Okay. So this is all the d types which we get. Now suppose we want to now means there is one of the step in which every in every data analysis suppose we want to drop some irrelevant columns like uh, engine fuel type let me show you this is suppose we want to drop engine fuel type okay and uh, market category you see I have this means uh, written down so that uh, I don't have problem by, uh, while recording it. So vehicle style, so suppose we want to remove popularity, we want to remove and number of doors also we want to remove, remove. Because there are just so many columns here, you can see. And there are not that much required in our, suppose like we don't require it in our analysis. So let us go on and there is one fu function for it df is equals to df dot drop function and in which we have to create one list and in that list we have to write all the column names in a column so first column we want to remove is engine fuel type fuel type right and wait a minute f u e l i will just go on and uh, copy it because it will take some time i guess comma comma now let us just go and copy it from here what is the second metric market category because it will take a lot of time if we just I know I can just uh, control C and control V but let's just take things normally there is no required no requirement to do show off now vehicle style vehicle style should also go now comma Hmm. Vehicle style should also go, popularity should also go. I have been playing PUBG, popularity would have been really important thing for me. But that was time I have used to play. What is that? Okay. Comma. Popularity should also go. Number of doors also should go. Where is this number of doors? So. If we have a car without doors, just a joke. What what is with this that uh, okay number of doors should also go, vehicle size should also go. Vehicle size. Let me just pause it. Wait. Paste. Okay, now let me just shift enter it. It is taking time. I hope it doesn't give any error. It is taking some time, but let uh, I need it. Axis dot, dot drop levels as key error not found in axis oh 
we need to add the axis e is equals to 1 and we will solve it now let us see input invalid syntax comma axis oh wait 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 And this has to be outside the bracket a x i s equals to 1 now it's there let us just see the d f dot d f dot add 5 yep now we have some considerable like model here in GHP engine cylinders transmission type drive and wheels highway so we have few left okay so now suppose like most of the column names are like very confusing right and we want to rename the columns suppose we want to rename engine HP just to HP engine cylinder just to cylinders so there is one uh, function df is equal to df dot rename as simple as that rename function in bracket uh, columns now we want to rename columns right so columns is equal to then a curly bracket we need wait a minute yep a curly bracket in which the first uh, we need to change it is engine HP right let me just copy it no I don't wait a minute I don't feel like typing it paste so we need to change engine HP to now with the call with the double dots we have to write the name which new name which we want to give so hp then separated by a comma is yep comma the second which we want to change is engine cylinders the most important thing here is to get to the code like to know is to know what we are doing it's, it's, that, it's that simple that's what i think means we should do we should know what we are doing Y L I N D E R S C Y L I N D E R S then suppose we want to change the name transmission type as well no let me just copy it transmission type double column double column just transmission hmm. so one more thing hmm. transmission type transmission comma also we have given now driver wheels also we need to rename it copy This should be renamed by drive should be renamed by drive mode. Drive mode. Okay. Okay. It's like uh suppose your boss tells you we yeah, have uh, we need to rename this to this and this to this. All you have to do is just copy and paste so drive mode now we have to rename highway mpg highway mpg to mpg mpg slash h i don't know what is called what it is called it is 
certainly not correct slash I know that much now city mpg should also be renamed mpg c okay how do they I think they might also be using some kind of data framework to rename uh, to make such big uh, no data message big data now mpg has to be now last is we have to change msrp i don't see why we need to change msrp we do get it mostly what it is but suppose your boss tells you that he wants it to be changed then what we need to change it as simple as that and now if I do shift enter yup again df dot add 5 shift enter here you can see we have changed hp engine hp has been changed to hp engine cylinders has been changed to cylinders transmission type also has been changed to transmission mostly we have changed everything and it is considerable now there are like 11,000 rows right in this data and there will be few duplicate ro rows as well so let us first check how much the rows are there df dot shape shape and there is no required for the bracket so 11,914 rows and 10 columns okay now suppose we want to know how many rows, rows are there duplicate rows are there so let us just write uh, create a variable first duplicate shift underscore rows then underscore df equals to df df dot duplicated df dot duplicated i guess duplicated the main aim is to like not remember the code you know like not really remembering the code is remembering means we can always uh, get what you can say the code all we need to know is how it is done like we have to have a general idea it is like how things are done number of duplicate rows double slash comma duplicate rows df what is it duplicate underscore rows underscore df dot shape let me see how many there are duplicate rows t u p l i c a t e oh come on why now yep there are 989 duplicate rows you see 989 means there are 11,000 rows in which 989 are duplicate rows now df dot count let us uh, first see uh, how many rows were there count okay so 
used to count the number of rows before removing the data. df.count is used to know the number of rows before removing the data. Okay. So there are 11, 9, 14 rows and uh, we have 989 duplicate rows, right? Now let us drop the duplicates. So df is equals to df dot drop duplicates d u p l i c a t e s duplicates and the comma enter df dot head five enter wait a minute oh I get it Sometimes, yep. Now we have dropped few. Now if I run df dot count, here you can see ten thousand nine hundred and twenty-five rows are there. So we have dropped all the uh, duplicate numbers. Now suppose wait a minute. Data types can also have null values, right? So first let us print let us see how many there are. Print in bracket df dot is null hmm, dot S U what the hell wait a minute is null dot S U N so there are like sixty nine in HP null uh, values and uh, thirty in cylinders now Suppose we want to drop null values as well. So there is one more function df is equals to df dot drop na now enter enter df dot count. Okay. Now you can see one ten thousand eight hundred and twenty seven rows. Means here you can see there were few experienced cylinders had extra uh, null values, so now they don't have any. We have removed all. Now let us start plotting. Okay. Mm. We can calculate it as well, you know. But let us don't. Let us just start plotting a histogram. Mm. Mm. Wait a minute. Let me just see what is some problem. Can we plot it like that? Just like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, let us start. I don't know, uh, like. I'm just uh, trying it for the first time. Like plotting the histogram was not in my uh, plan, but what goes to try? Wait a minute, did something just happen? df dot make value. What is this happening? 
ओके ओ शिफ्ट अंडरस्कोर डीएल डॉट मेन डॉट वैल्यू काउंट्स I've skipped few steps, so I'm fearing is in largest forty. Hmm. Now plot kind is equals to bar. Okay, we are. to plotting our histogram and the size equals to 10 comma 5 10 comma 5 i get it i get it now do we need to give the levels but let us give the levels as well mm. plt dot title okay now the title is coming number of cars by make Hmm. And P L T dot Y label is number of cars and P L T dot X label is make. I think I'm. I think I am missing out on something. But let me just for time being see. Plot is not defined. P L O T. Oh 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 oh! Now I get it. Finally, we have our histogram here with the Chevrolet taking the top spot, followed by the rest. Okay, we can plot other maps as well. So that was like a basic EDA I performed, and thank you so much.